All right, welcome back. Vodcast mm-hmm. 5D, Coach Forster. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to walk him through just some a very brief introduction to naming some, some acids and bases. Uh-huh. And this can get a little <clears throat> confusing. Right, so we're, we're just, just going to kind of do a, a brief <laughs> introduction here to mm-hmm. naming uh, acids, acids and bases. bases. Um, so, so a base is um, just a type of compound in chemistry. Um, and uh, you deal with bases every day. But a base... Uh, usually it has a OH group attached to it. And an OH is a polyatomic, and what do we call that polyatomic? Hydroxide. Hydroxide. Right. Um, so if the OH group is present, it can clearly be indicated as a base. NaOH, Ca- CaOH2. Um, and you also notice that bases have a metal or a positive ion attached to them at the beginning. And the OH is the negative at the back. So bases are named like other ionic compounds. So there's really no special rules for naming nope. uh, bases. No, okay. not none whatsoever. So just for instance here, uh, you've got calcium. Yep. And then OH, like you said, is the is hydroxide, hydroxide ion. ion. Mm-hmm. So hydroxide. Okay. Well, you guys can name that one there. Uh, and then we have uh, a base down so, here. So we have aluminum, which mm-hmm. has, a, has a plus three charge. Mm-hmm. And we have hydroxide, which is a, a minus one. Right. And that's in parentheses there. Right. OH3. Okay, so we just cr- cr- crisscrossed uh-huh. the three down there. Crisscross applesauce. We don't crisscross the one, mm-hmm. but uh, we crisscross the, the three. three. So we'll leave ammonium hydroxide for you guys. For you guys. Bases. So naming acids. Mm-hmm. Acids all start with hydrogen. hydrogen. That's kind of the key to making mm-hmm. things an acid is having that hydrogen. Right. Uh, we worked already in a lab this year with, with hydrochloric acid, right. HCl. Mm-hmm. This one right here. We'll use some others. Uh, but two types of acids exist: binary acids, and mm-hmm. then and then oxy acids. Mm-hmm. Binary acids just mean they're they're going to bond with just one nonmetal. Right. So hydrogen with a nonmetal, so like HCl. Right. That's just hydrogen and chlorine. And then oxy acids. Those hydrogens are bonding with two other atoms, or they're bonding with a polyatomic right. ion, like mm-hmm. in this that case sulfate. Sulfate will make. Um, acid, uh, hydrogen, and sulfate. Right. Okay. Each of these have some different naming rules. Mm-hmm. You've got to know if it's bonding with one element or if it's bonding with a polyatomic Correct. ion. Okay. So you want to go um, So binary, binary acids. All right. Binary <laughs> means two, so there's only two things in your acid. Um, we're just going to add a prefix to the front. All right. We've added suffixes before. Now we're adding prefixes for our English lesson today. We're adding hydro to the front. All right, hydro plus whatever your nonmetal is. So whatever's on the whatever's in the compound that's on the right, and then we're going to add ick, and then the word acid at the end. All right, so hydro are uh, for this one be Cl would be our nonmetal. So hydrochloric acid. So it's just the root of the element. The root. It's word. Not the whole name chlorine. Nope, just the root, the chlor. Yep. Uh huh. So this would be okay. Uh, HBr. I put hydro, and then my root word, which is Bromo. It's, it's bromine. It uh-huh. was because it was bromo. Uh-huh. And I'm going to add ick. Bromic hydrobromic acid. acid. Right. All right. Okay, so there's hydrogen and sulfur. Uh-huh. So hydro again. And then I'm going to do sulfic acid. Hydrosulfic acid. And let's do that last one down there just so we get some good uh-huh. practice on this. Hydro. Hydro. Iodine. Yep. And this has, I mean, this is io, iodic um, acid. Okay. All right. So it's, you can. Uh, so maybe with some spelling things, but we're not going to count off for that. And you, as long as we know you're doing the right process here. So. Okay. So so oxy acids. So so now dealing with polyatomics, Coach Forster. How uh-huh. do we how do we work uh, how do we work these out? Right. Well, so you're going to name the the name has to include what the polyatomic is. Okay. So if it's a polyatomic, for instance, that ends in eight, I'm going to change the ending to ick. If it's a polyatomic that ends in it, I'm going to change it to us. All right? So eights go to x and ites go to uses. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. It does sound like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> um, cha- uh, change the non-metal root uh, for pronunciation-wise um, and add acid to the name. Okay? So H2SO3. SO3, if I look up what that is. Uh, is sulfate. That sul- is it sulfite? Maybe it's sulfite. Right? It is sulfite. Sulfite. Um, so, ites go to uses. So, this would be sulfus acid. All right? So, that's the little, the trickiest part here. All right? So, 
sulfus acid. All right, so I, that sulfite went to sulfus acid. All right, and I think I, I don't know why all this stuff is down here, but uh, but anyway, I'm just changing the polyatomic and changing the ending, and then putting the word acid. That's it. Right. And I believe that's it. Oh no, that's okay. practice. Okay. Problem. All right, so I have. Um, I know it has polyatomic in it, so I'm just going to look at what the polyatomic is. It's okay, so NO2. Which is nitrite. Nitrite. So I'm going to make that ites go to uses, right? Uses. Mm -hmm. So nitrous acid. So there's no hydrogen in the name. Nope, there. no hydrogen in the name. Okay. Leave it hydrogen out. Um, and then I have PO4. Phosphate. So that's a phosphate. And ites go to X. So it would be phos... Foric. Uh, yeah, foric. All right, it's acid. And then carbonic. Remember, ic came from the eight, so, so it's going to be carbonate. So H is going to be a plus always, plus one. It's in the first column. And then I just look what carbonate's charge is. It's a minus two. Carbonate's minus two. So it would be H2CO3. All right, so these are a little bit complicated um, to get... To get naming, so don't get frustrated. Um, we can have print, we have plenty of practice in class, um, and uh, like I said, this is we're just kind of talking about the introduction to acids and bases here. All right, that's it. We'll see you. All right.